Hey you guys, this is Ruben Rex, so I'm really happy because now I'm gonna make a reaction to Norway Melody Grand Prix 2023 uh, which is epic because I made uh, live streams to the heats, the semi-final, uh, no there was no semi to the heats, the final and the second chance of like 2021, 2022 so now we're going to 2023 I heard that some people uh, came back like Ulrika. Okay. I'm not sure about this. This is. No. I don't like it. I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of Ulrika. I'm. I'm. Yeah. I'm just being honest. Uh, this sounds very good. Wow, with a good staging, this sounds like a song that could really touch my heart. Interesting. She must be famous in Norway, I, I've never seen her before. She looks very housewife, like a mother, let's say. Uh, this sounds interesting. This could be potential. Yeah, is this typical Norwegian? Oh! Oof. Oh my god. This reminds me of Clara Hammerstrom last year. Watch it on my channel, I made the whole live stream to the final. Uh, Clara Hammerstrom was the first one uh, and it really reminds me of her song. But then uh, it's uh, the Norwegian version with a different artist. So yeah. Watch it on my channel so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this guy is back. I'm gonna kill that voice in my head. I love that guy. He's a legend. Um, yeah, so kind of subwoofer ish with another American singer. Uh, Unami Tsumami, I heard about them but I don't know like what's the deal they're a boy band yeah okay this sounds more interesting okay 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 this is the sound I like from Norway oh going back to my childhood okay this is my favorite yeah. Until now, this is my favorite. Yeah. It's okay. Nothing special, you know, put a guy with a saxophone. Ooh. Okay, uh, I, I like this one. I look forward to this one. Is she just like uh, posing on purpose that way or I don't know I have the feeling I let's say she has a very Andron how do you call this word you know like Conchita just this kind of look where you don't not really sure but I think it's a it's a woman but on the picture it's just not I don't know I can be wrong I heard there is a drag queen so maybe I don't think it's her Ooh, this is very stolen from like Ralph Sanchez from Holland and from like those artists in Melody Festival. Always, you know, you put one Spanish one. Yeah, Norway is looking at Sweden and Holland. What's popular? Yeah, I did not like that one so much. Elsie Bay is back. Again? By the way, in this picture she looks a little bit like Alexandra from uh, Kaino. Um, yeah. Oh! Okay, I, I want to go back a bit to Elsie. Elsie looks like uh, a good song, but uh, that song of last year sounded stronger, to be honest. So, I don't think she will win with this song. I'm sure she wrote 
songs for other people. So maybe she wrote this song or another. No, usually usually she writes uh, other kind of songs. Like last year she wrote Hammer of Thor and America. She wrote that song as well. And yeah, she she, she wrote a lot of songs already for Melody Festival. Uh, so this is Love Again from Skrillex. I have the feeling I've seen him like Maybe he's famous on like a drag race thing. Like he looks like a professional. That's so cool. So then we're gonna have uh, three different countries with drag queens that can really sing and that are really good. Spain, Norway, and Sweden. That's cool. Okay. Um, so for now my favorite is uh, Yone and Skrillex. Alessandra, I like it as well, even though it's not so original. This one, no. Uh, Alex Alessandra is, is is also one of the favorites, but it's not so original because uh, for me, because I made a live uh, stream to Melody Festival on this year, so I knew that song of Clara Hammerstorm, and it really reminds me of that. Although this one sounds a bit more boom, 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 bit more epic. But yeah, so I would say my three favorites are Alessandra, Yone, and uh, uh, Skrillex. And then uh, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That reminds me of another song from last year from Norway. I don't remember. Talking about previous entries, this is the guy who was in 2021. Oh. This gives me memories of 2021 uh, with that song, Let's Set the World on Fire. It was so good. He's like the Justin Bieber of Norway. So yeah, he's back. It doesn't sound like a banger, like World on Fire was a really good song. So I hope he will dance and yeah. He's a bit like the... Um, Benjamin also of Norway, although he doesn't write songs, I think, but yeah, that's what he reminds me of. This sounds a bit similar as the song we heard before. Yeah, well, it doesn't send out. We I, okay, I'm not very objective. Uh, ah, this is a song that I think Elsie Bay wrote because it really reminds me of Hammer of Thor. Um, I, I hear too much sounds that are coming back too many times from like last year and 2022, 2021. So I would like them to take a new direction with some songs. Meaning that when you do like a Viking song, do like a real Viking song. Have like real strong men with like real lightning, like a Thor, you know? Not like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like something is missing. Like have somebody... Who is really like, uh, uh, I know people who know about Nordic mythology, like Jackson Crawford, I know him. Uh, he's also involved in God of War Ragnarok. And um, uh, he was also explaining the Nordic mythology in that game, and that a lot of times it was not correct and all this stuff. So why don't you bring him in the show and let him like make something or describe you things about like, what's really Nordic mythology, instead of creating something that's not. Because even like in God of War the Ragnarok, it's not correct. Uh, even in like uh, movies, it's not correct. So I, I would like to see that one day, you know what I mean? Freya is a character in God of War Ragnarok. Yeah, this is... Too much repetitive. This is this is just a copy of Hammer of Thor. It's just exactly the same. I'm sure it's Elsie Bay who wrote it again. I love Elsie Bay. I have nothing against her, but but um, it, 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 it's just not my kind of music. Sorry, and 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 people should get something new. You know, Norway needs something fresh, like Skrillex or like Yone uh, or like Alessandra. Uh, Norway needs one of those. Uh, if they really want to win, uh, yeah. Stig van Eyck. Is he from Holland? He has a Dutch name. Oh, 
Or for Belgium maybe? Okay, I like this one. It's a reggae. Maybe not for everybody, but yeah, it's reggae. I mean, like, reggae is not for everyone. So I would say um, for variation, that's a good one. Um, I don't like this one if I... I would have liked it if Hammer of Thor was not there last year. And if last year they did not have already three of those kind of, like, uh, ladies singing, like, Viking songs. Uh, yeah, give me a guy singing Viking songs with, like, really strong men, you know? Uh, not meant to be mm, nothing too special um, so yeah I already said who's my favorite but I'm trying to like let you know why Akuvi I'm looking forward to your performance uh, Tirel Beisland you look like somebody interesting but the song not so much um, yeah uh, Love Again Skrillex look forward to that so yeah my three favorites uh, also, Ella with Waze, I think it's interesting. It sounds interesting. So, and for some reason, I look forward to this song because I love Spanish music. Those of you who know my channel, I love Italian and Spanish music. And yeah, this just makes me feel at home. So, um, he looks more Italian. Alejandro is more Italian name as well. So, I think he's Italian. But um, yeah, so I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing him. He's very handsome as well. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Yone. Uh, and then I'm looking forward to seeing also, uh, yes, him. Even though we saw him already before. Uh, and Alessandra. So my three favorites, you know, are Alessandra, Skellex and Yone. I think one of those one is going to win. And yeah, which one? It will depend on the staging. But it will definitely between will be, will be between those three. And then the public in Norway, they are quite traditional sometimes. It depends if young people are voting. Uh, Elsie has a big name, so maybe they will give certain parts of Norway will vote for Elsie. But I'm not such a fan of Elsie. I'm sorry, she's just not my type of artist. Um, even though I find her voice is good, but she reminds me too much of... This kind of, yeah, songs that I already heard before, you know, like America and uh, uh, songs from Victoria too as well. I like, but I have to be in the mood for that, you know, America. And she had also uh, that song uh, from herself last year and she made uh, quite a few other songs for other people. So, yeah, I think uh, it's time for somebody new. Even though I think it's nice that she comes back. I know it happens in Bandi Festival as well. But like it's 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 I prefer people uh with bangers and with fresh music. It doesn't mean I don't like uh ballads, but like after a while, you know, if you keep hearing the same kind of songs, uh you get bored of it and you want something new, you know what I mean? So Alessandra is lucky that uh I heard that song only once before. Because if, if I hear this song like two or three more times, this kind of sound, then I will get bored of it as well. But less, because it's very, yeah, it's very pop and it's very strong. Uh, Himi is the most original, for sure, with Skrillex. So, uh, let me listen to Skrillex once again to see. Okay. If I compare it with the song from Melody Festival last year, with Tone. I think it's gonna be comparable and I think she will do a great job. And then this song, yeah, just this one is my ultimate favorite. I'm sorry, this just, like I say, everything in this video, don't take it too serious if I, uh, if I say something you don't like or whatever. It's not personal, it's just like my, I'm just explaining my taste and my personal opinion. So don't get like angry at me for having my opinion. As a Dutch person, like this is everything I like. This is everything I grew up with and people in Norway as well. It also reminds me of this kind of dance band that ticks, uh, you say ticks in Norway, I think is having a bit. 
but it's more like Teek's uh, dance band mixed with Gabber, which I love. And then his haircut, this is exactly the kind of hair I had when I was, uh, I want to say his age, but it was more around when I was 12, 13. And uh, yeah, it, him, I'm sure he's, uh, what, like 16, 17. So um, yeah, I, I want him to win. He's, he's He looks like... Um, potential and somebody new you know i want something fresh and i'm I, I, I don't know why i've been following norway and Melody grand prix since like 2014 or 2015 because i i watch eurovision all my life since like the 90s i've been obsessed with my parents i watched diva dana international win and since then i became like obsessed you know and um and i was only like 12 years old so wait she won in 99 so i was 14 years old, okay. So, um, the thing is that uh, even before that I was watching and we were always hoping for Holland to win, but they never won <laughs> until Duncan Lawrence. So that's quite epic, that like full circle. And then um, I started watching like a lot of other things as well, like national finals. And somebody told me when I was in a gay bar in Rotterdam, he said, yeah, but you have to understand that the real band national finals, the best ones are in Sweden and in Norway. So I started watching Norway with my boyfriend and every year since like 2016 or 2015. And then uh, I made my channel and I started to live stream Norway since two years now. And Sweden as well since two years now. So yeah, I, I'm just so happy about those countries are always the best uh, in Eurovision. And now also Spain uh, and uh, hopefully France will do the same as Spain where they really want to reinvent the wheel again if spain can do it france can do it as well so uh i'm always excited about spain italy and this year belgium as well so yeah we will see how that will be but just the fact that they're gonna speak in dutch uh will be good for me to live stream and yeah it's gonna be epic so uh and nikki tutorials will be there in the judge so i'm very excited about that so this video uh yeah keeps me talking for some reason. I just, because it reminds me of the live streams. I just cannot wait making the live streams to my first heat, second heat. Um, I will prioritize Sweden um, this year, I think, because uh, Sweden has um, always the same timing as Norway. So I can do the first two or three heats for Norway because they're always earlier. But when they are at the same time, I will have to choose Sweden because uh yeah that's a, a decision i made so i will try to do like the final of norway uh, uh uh for sure and then uh one or two or three heats so we will see with the timing how that goes i just wish they would not do it at the same time so i could just like uh, so first of all i could do it earlier so i would not have to wait too long so norway if i can give you one tip is please put your show um let's say December or beginning of January. Uh, so then I can do like Norway, Melody Grand Prix and after Melody Festival, then I don't have to choose. So this is something I would uh, ask you for next year. I can really recommend you this. Um, and yeah, that's all gonna be for me. So see you guys next video, subscribe, comment, all that jazz, be yourself, be nice yourself and each other always. And just try to be happy. Uh, I know life's not always easy. But if it's not easy, just do what the French president said. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Think about spring. <laughs> That's what he said. And it just made, it became a whole meme on itself. <laughs> I don't know why he said it. It's just funny. But it's true. When times get dark, think about spring and things will get better. So, uh, you guys, I love you. Uh, hasta la vista, hasta luego. Tusen tak, harat brat. Doei doei, ciao ciao, au revoir, arrivederci. That's all the languages I know. Subscribe, comment, and like. That joke was for the French people, by the way. <laughs> Nobody else will understand that joke. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to all the national finals as well. From, of course, Spain, France. I'm going to try to do Malta as well. I don't know what's possible in the schedule. I want to do Belgium and then Malta. I will see what's possible because those two also are a bit at the same time. And then Estonia, I will try to do the final as well. So... Yeah, it's going to be a very busy year, uh, year for me. So wish you guys a, a good day. Uh, see you next time and love you guys.